Welcome to Real Talk, where a real voice actor tells you what's really happening inside the mind of a VO. My name is Kelly Wilson. I am a voice actor for commercials, videos, e-learning narrations, children's educational content, and more. And in my past life, I was an audio engineer for an on-hold messaging company, copywriter, producer, radio DJ, ops assistant, promotions, programming, production. I worked in admissions and PR and higher ed. And for a little bit, I was even a TSA officer. Each week, I provide tips and tricks on what to look for in a voice actor, what the voice actor really needs from you so you can uplevel your brand, and what exactly is going on in that voiceover's mind. Weirdo. Hey, yo, it's episode nine of Real Talk. I'm Kelly Wilson. So working with kids. So say you got a project and you want a kid voice for it, okay? Um, my recommendation, try to get a real kid because um, maybe you haven't done this lately just because of quarantine and COVID and stuff. But have you ever walked through a grocery store? You can always hear the kids screaming um, or talking or just being a kid. Now, um, I have, I'm, a, I'm a parent. I have two kids. And I definitely have like mom ears now. Like I can hear a baby cry and be like, baby need bottle. Like I can just, even if it's not mine now, I have a one-year-old and he doesn't, he says like five words, but I know what this kid's saying. We can communicate together. So anyways, um, kids' voices just sound different to adults. And I'm coming at this from a female perspective. I need to ask my husband this, actually. Um, But to me, kids' voices just sound different. They just do. They did before I had children, too. Um, They sounded more annoying (laughs) before I had children. I know. Horrible. Um, I like my own kids. Let's just go with that. So anyways, if you have a voiceover project and you, you have written a role for a kid, I encourage you to try to get a real legit kid. Um, for example, you have a project and it's um, a Spanish-speaking project. You want to use a native Spanish speaker, right? It's just going to sound real, legit, better. It's just going to sound better. So again, if you have a kid part, try to work with a real kid. But I get it. Working with kids um, is unpredictable. Kids are kids. The younger you get, the harder it can be, right? Um, so just try, but, but I get it. It's tough. If, if you don't know anyone who has, uh, you know, a kid voice actor, um, if you're working with a specific voice actor or actors, ask them. Ask them, be like, hey, do you have any kids that, that could sound good? Do you know anyone that they can refer you to? I would start there. Next, if you're like, all right, I'm not working with a kid. Maybe it's more of a cartoon feel that is a kid character or just a cartoon that's going to be talking to kids or whatever. Definitely consider female voice actors who can pitch their voices down to sound like kids. Um, I, for example, I have, I have a mean little boy voice. Um, I'm just a crazy mixed up squirrel. And it's, um, I mean, that's kind of my, my signature line that helps me get into character. But I can kind of pitch that up and down depending on uh, what is needed. But a lot of, uh, like Bart Simpson, for example, that's played by a woman. Um, so a lot of female voice actors can sound like little boys. So if that's exactly what you're going for and you're already working with a female voice actor, um, then just ask them, be like, hey, can you do this? And they very well might be able to. If not, they can always refer you to someone, you know? So really, other than that, no difference in hiring kids. You find the voice you want, you have them audition, you have them do the job, you bring them into your world so they can deliver the job you want. And boom, job's done. Fantastic. All right, that's it for me. I'm Kelly Wilson. And yeah, if you need a certain type of voice, um, I can play a little kid. Um, I, I do know others who um, have real children. Let me know. Kelly at kellywilsonvo.com. Happy to help. Hey, thanks for listening. Please do me a solid and rate and review this podcast and share it with a friend or a colleague, anyone who you think would find this helpful. You can join my email community and you'll never miss out on an episode of Real Talk. And score my freebie, a list of five fantastic voice actors to add to your roster when you sign up kellywilsonvo.com slash subscribe. And yeah, one of them is me. Bye.